This is our barbecue in the prototype mode. Currently we do not have batteries ready to power it, so we have it running on a DC power supply plugged into an extension cord. So that's going to be how we run this barbecue until we get the 12 volt batteries. We have replaced several of the knobs in the front of the barbecue with stepper motors. This gives the computer the ability to turn the valves open and closed. If we look down inside, underneath the bar barbecue here, we can see a couple of printed circuit boards with glowing LEDs. Those are the stepper motor drives. They send the power to the stepper motors, cause them to turn uh, counterclockwise and clockwise. Now the commands to drive the stepper motors come from the computer. In this case, the computer is a programmable logic controller, or PLC. This is it right here. The PLC takes inputs from the thermocouples, reading the temperature of each burner, each zone. Then it outputs pulse signals telling the stepper motors which direction to turn and how far to turn. The thermocouples measuring the temperature of the burners can be seen back here, at least the back side of the connectors. Five thermocouples, four of them connected right now. And those are sending temperature signals to the PLC, which we'll use to make decisions on uh, how far to turn the valves and which direction. We also have some manual push buttons in front we can use to initialize the valve position. For example, right now the valves are in the fully clockwise position, that is the off mode. I can go to what's called a low fire initialize, push this button. You can see and hear the valves moving counterclockwise now. Counterclockwise is the low fire position, the low burner position. Fully clockwise is the off position, and in the middle is high fire. Now currently, we do not have a fancy interface for the PLC. We have to be plugged into a personal computer, which is our interface. And in the personal computer, we get to tell right now what position the valves are going to go to. I can actually go to this right here, say I want the valves at the 50% position. And the valves are manually moved to 50%. Of course, this also has an automatic mode, and for right now, we have to use the personal computer to set the automatic mode. We can set an auto mode, and at that point, it will control whatever temperature we tell it to. You can hear the valves move now. And they'll continue to step one position at a time as necessary as the computer commands them to open or close. Now, eventually, this is too cumbersome of an interface for us to use on a regular basis, so eventually we will be mounting a touchscreen interface to the end of this pendant. And the touchscreen is going to be mounted right here. It will display the zone temperatures. It will also have touch-sensitive push buttons, which we can use to set zone temperatures and also do things like initialize low fire or uh, go into shutdown mode. That's going to come next quarter. But for right now, we're going to be have, having this thing tethered to a personal computer so we can command the PLC what to do. And that's it for now. That's our prototype.